now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's Alex, it's the Ramble, we go till midnight tonight. From a city that's getting kind of uh, more infected than it was. Uh, we have a few problems here in, in New York. I mean, it's not bad, it's not, you know, terrible, it's not horrible. But we've been so proud to say that we were the most uninfected city in the United States. And we can't, well, we can still say that, okay? Uh, but, geez, it's amazing. It is just amazing. Um, uh, what, what gets me is, is, is the re reluctance of people to understand something very simple. We have a very deadly virus out there. Something that can kill each and every one of us. It's killing children. It's killing seniors. More seniors than children, but children are getting killed too. Okay? And that the one thing we can do, okay, if we're going to try and beat this thing, is just simply wear one of these when you're out. Okay? It's very simple. I know it's a pain in the ass and... What I hate about it is if I wear dark glasses with it, the hot air from my mouth then seeps up through here into my dark glasses and it, they get all foggy, okay? And I can feel my own breath and so on coming back at me. But, you know, this is a very simple solution to the problem. I mean, they, they did this back in 1918 when they had the Spanish flu running around. Everybody was wearing masks, okay? And they're very simple to wear. And I know they're uncomfortable, and I know you don't like to, uh, but what is the alternative to not wearing them? Either death for yourself or killing somebody else, okay? Now, uh, I don't have any guests at the beginning of the show tonight because I've run out of guests for the beginning of the show. Stephen Pearl is having problems uh, with his landlord and doesn't know if he's going to be in his house right now, so I have to wait to, on him. And Stephen uh, Kravitz just moved out to uh, the East Coast, and he's there, and I'm going to be able to do something with him next week. Uh, but basically, all my regulars, except for Bubbles, are, you know, and Ronnie are, okay, so... Anyway, uh, so I, I, I'm going to talk to you for a little bit, and then we'll get to the, we'll get to the, uh, we'll get to the, the uh, Zoom panel a little earlier than we normally do, because there's a lot to digest today. The fact is that you, as an individual, could unknowingly spread COVID to somebody else. You go, well, I don't have COVID. I feel great. I feel terrific. I don't have any of the symptoms. That's right. The worst kind of carriers in this epidemic that's going on right now are those people who are asymptomatic. That means have no symptoms at all. But they've got the virus, and when they breathe in somebody's face, that person could get it and be, not be asymptomatic. Um, we've had a government that for the longest time uh, during this epidemic has tried to minimize it and has tried to make it smaller than it really was. Oh, it's just as bad as a normal flu, uh, but it'll, as soon as the warm weather gets here, it'll, it'll go away. Well, that wasn't true. And uh, one thing after another wasn't true, and the government, and I, when I say the government, I mean our president kept talking about this. And then he would go out and he would hold rallies where nobody wore masks. Uh, and uh, the other day he held a thing in the Rose Garden for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, the, the, the justice of the Supreme Court that, they, that he was announcing, okay? And everybody was there, and their pictures out, they were sitting around, they were like shaking each other's hands, and they were so happy to see each other. Let me, uh, I have here, 
This is out of uh, the New York Times. It, and it, it, this isn't a matter of whether you believe the New York Times or not. This is just statistics. Or as, uh, what was it, what was the, the word that, uh, uh, what's his name he used to use? Uh, um, Letterman, statistics. Uh, anyway, these are just statistics. Here are the people that have tested positive, okay, for COVID because of Trump, okay? This is like the, uh, if you did some, what we call uh, tracing, this would be the tracing that we would do. These are the people he has come into contact with who have now tested positive. Uh, Donald J. Trump. Uh, Mel Melania Trump, she's got it. Hope Hicks. Now they're saying that Hope Hicks may be the uh, maybe the person that brought it into the fold, but then again, she may not have. For all we know, Trump may have spread it, and Hope Hicks may have gotten it from Trump. We don't know exactly who got it and who didn't get it, and why they got it, and and so on. But anyway, Hope Hicks. Now. We go to Mike Lee. He's the senator of Utah. He just came down with it. Uh, Ronna McDaniel, RNC chairwoman, she's come down with it. Uh, John I. Jenkins, the University of Notre Dame president, he came down with it. And Tom Tillis, the senator of North Carolina, has come down with it. Now, what do they all have in common, all these, these people who have tested positive? Okay. They were all in the Rose Garden last week when they were introducing Trump's choice for the Supreme Court. Remember that meeting? None of them were wearing, wearing masks. And if you see pictures of Mike Lee, who's got COVID, right, is walking around, he's hugging people, and they're hugging him back. Um, this was sheer stupidity. Here are the people who tested negative who are close to the president. Mike Pence, Karen Pence. Uh, Ivanka Trump, well, uh, yeah. Jared Kushner, he didn't get it either. Not yet. You know, I mean, it takes uh, anywhere from t two to 14 days to become positive. So any of these people could become positive. Amy Coney Barrett, Coney Barrett, who is the Supreme Court uh, nominee, uh, uh, tested negative, but she should have because she had COVID. She had it several months ago and then it passed and you know, went another way, and that was it, okay? Uh, Joseph R. Biden Jr. didn't get it, neither did Jill Biden, neither did Mark Meadows, the White House Chief of Staff. Um, so what does this say to you, folks? I mean, the fact is that the very people who have been eschewing the, the eff 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 efficacy, ethic efficacy, of, uh, of, of wearing a mask and washing your hands and social distancing, the people who have constantly poo-pooed that whole notion, well, they're, they're in trouble now. And I believe, uh, who was it? There was one person on that list who wasn't there. Oh, the guy from Notre Dame was there. It was at some rally that Trump held. And uh, there's also a thing about uh, one of those rallies, I think, or one of those gatherings. M a lot of people have come up with corona, okay? So now, all of a sudden, the Petri dish for coronavirus is the White House. And now the president has it, okay? Question is, how bad does he have it? They say a mild case. He has a mild case of it. Well, maybe yes, maybe no. We don't know. We get lied to continually from the White House. They're never forthcoming about stuff like this. And there are reports coming out that he's in a great deal of trouble. Okay? That, uh, that in fact, he has not only uh, mild symptoms, coughing and so on, but he's finding it harder and harder to breathe. Okay, that's a bad sign, all right? Um, he has a lot of uh, what we call comorbidities, things that could kill him because uh, uh, he's in a weakened state, one of which, and I love hearing the news people constantly saying this, he's obese. That's a technical term, 
obese. That is, is really a technical term. It is a technical term for something the rest of us know as a fat fuck. Uh, and uh, he, uh, he has comorbidities uh, up the ass. I mean, he's, you know, he's not, he, he may have even had a heart problem that we weren't told about. So what are we, what's happening? Okay, this is all, uh, uh, he's now been taken to, to uh, uh, Walter Reed Medical Hospital where they have a suite, the presidential suite that has all the things he needs to continue being president, okay? Uh, and it's, it's up there, it's out there and he's out there, uh, he's over, they say we're gonna keep him for a couple of days for observation, well, you know, all the things they could do for him at Walter Reed, the basics, could be done at the White House. They have all the medical facilities at the White House that they have at Walter Reed for just taking care of something like this. That's why a lot of people are worried, because he went to Walter Reed Hospital. Melania didn't go, which means that she may not have it as badly as he does. And she is considerably younger. What is she? I don't think she's even 50 yet. I, I, don't, I don't know her age. So um, it, 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 it's really, um, uh, uh, you know, amazing. Now, the question is, how am I supposed to feel about this? Uh, here is a man who was responsible for, I'll, I won't give, I won't place all 200,000 deaths at his doorstep, okay, 203, how many, 204, something like that, 1,000 deaths now from COVID. I won't place all those at his doorstep. I'll just place 200,000 at his doorstep. So how am I supposed to feel about this? Well, you know, there's a certain schadenfreude that one gets, that's a great German word, meaning uh, relishing in the misery of others, uh, but I, I can't do that. Um, look, this is a terrible, terrible disease. I was thinking about it today. What if I came down with it? And there's always the possibility. I mean, I lately I've been feeling weak and so on. I know I don't have it uh, because I don't have any of the, of the symptoms of it outside of having a little fatigue and a runny nose, which has been running ever since I was 18. I was five years old, okay? Uh, I just have a, a sinus condition that won't stop. So and there's some allergies going around, not your pollen allergies, but other stuff, mold and so on. And, but basically, I mean, I look, I'm here, I'm doing this, you know, so I'm not, and I've been feeling this way for months. So, you know, a, a lot of it has to do with being stuck indoors. Uh, but I think about it, you know, and I, 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 I think about what it would be like to get it and, and so, therefore, my, my feeling of dislike verging on hatred for the man and for the terrible position he's put Americans in health-wise, uh, all that also comes into play with my sense of decency, which is something he, he doesn't have. He would not be this decent with someone else. Um, but I, I, I feel for him, you know. Uh, I feel for him only in the respect that this is a terrible diagnosis to get, and it's got to be incredibly scary. And he's, he's got to be, they say, they say that he's in, incredibly scared about this now. But, the, you know, again, the, the uh, chickens have come home to roost, uh, but they're, uh, you know, they've come home to roost, and, but yet I don't feel a certain schadenfreude about it. I hope he survives. I hope he's okay. I hope it is just a mild case, but at his age, I doubt if it will be. Uh, there are very few people at our age who get a mild case. They get a, they get a real case of it, but they don't die from it. Only a certain, about 15% of our age group die from it. So anyway, it, you know, I, I, I feel for him, I feel for Melania, uh, I feel for Hope Hicks. Uh, uh, however, I don't give a shit about Mike Lee, okay? Can I say that? I really don't. He's a miserable f asshole. All right. Anyway, I, you know, I, by the way, talking about this, 
gets me demonetized. I just found out today on, uh, because I asked why I was demonetized, and I looked at why one of my shows was demonetized, and said, because we talked about d deadly issues. It's because we talked about COVID. When we talk about COVID, they don't like that. They go, hey, hey, go ahead, swear your head off. But, uh, you know. Uh, anyway. So I'm just not, I'm, in fact, these live shows now, I'm not even monetizing. If you start looking at it, you don't see an ad at the beginning of it. Plus, I find ads on YouTube annoying anyway, and why should I add to that annoyance? But anyway, I, I you know, I, 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 I hope for his, uh, his uh, uh, coming around and not being sick and his, uh, his, uh, his, his, this whole thing resolving itself uh, so that he can get back on the campaign trail so he can face his demise, okay, at the polls rather than his demise uh, at Walter Reed Hospital, okay? So that's, that, that's the beginning of it, you know. That's the starting of it, so. Anyway, uh, I know that a lot of you have something to say about this. And I'm gonna take some Zoom calls now in a moment, and I wanna hear from you about it. And uh, just, uh, you know, give us, a, uh, give us a, a call. What you do, is you go over to either the GabNet page at GabNet.net, and over on the right-hand side of the page is a column. In the middle of that column, it says, click here to join our Zoom panel, okay? That's for starters, all right? Uh, then you go, uh, or you can go over to my Facebook page, and on the Facebook page, it has a notification there of the link that you can use to get on the Zoom panel. You don't have to have Zoom on your computer. You just click on that and it gets you there. And if you're watching us on YouTube, well, on that page where the chat is and everything else, over there is a description of the show and it says, the video version of Alex Bennett Ramble of the Citizen Panel, Zoom us at, and then there's a link there. You click on that and you can be part of our Citizen Panel. Anyway, let's start bringing some people into the fold here. Here is the... Uh, uh, let me see here. Okay, let me see here. Uh, who I, I have to figure out who some of these people are. Okay, Robert, you're back. How are you? How's how's everything, Robert? Just fine, thank you. Yeah, you had a, you had a little a family crisis, right? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah, and uh, we missed you. Thank, thank you very much. Me. Well, look at who's wearing a mask tonight, Mr. COVID twenty one, Kevin. Good move. Good move. Yeah. And uh, 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 Brian Neary, who is, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> it's, 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 it is what it is. And uh, let me see here. Uh, what else? Uh, and, 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 and Charlie Wallace. Hello, Charlie. How are you? Okay. Yeah. It's a hoax. It's October <laughs> surprise. Trump doesn't really have it. Well, you know, I was thinking. I was thinking. Today, I tell you, Alex. Some somebody said that he's doing this on purpose. That he's going to go to the hospital and he's going to be cured. And he's going to say he created the fix for it. He created the hydroxychloroquine. Well, hydroxychloroquine. <laughs> he's going to say he created the fix for this. He's yeah, going to save us all. Well, first of all, the first thing I wrote, I was Kevin and I were writing back and forth, and I to each other. And one of the things I wrote was, uh, 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 is this the October surprise? You know, yeah. because, I mean, it was October 1st. Here we go. Right. Boom. He's got, I've got yep. COVID. Then my other, he started, you started giving me, what, what, what was one of your, your, uh, your paranoid the theories? Spirit, like conspiracy theory? Yeah. 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 That he was going to, he was going to, uh, what was it? He was going <clears> to, <throat> he was going to get sick. And just before the just before the election, get sick, and then all of a sudden get better, so he doesn't lose, and then he's going to come back, sit around for four years, and then rerun. Oh, okay, all right. That yeah. that that was your paranoid theory. My paranoid theory was he doesn't have it; he's faking it. Yep. He's yeah, faking, kind of faking, he's faking it, it in order to get some sympathy for the election, but to completely complete the election the possibility of being elected. He has Melania knocked off. 
Okay. <laughs> and they say she died of COVID. And then all America feels sorry for him. He gets the vote and he. Yeah, yeah, that was yours. That's right. Yeah. He doesn't understand people feeling sorry for anything. So he has no empathy. So I don't think he understands that. Yeah. But one thing we do know Mm. hope has infected the White House. So we're on a good day. Hope has infected the White House. (laughs) Oh, boy. And Kellyanne got it too. Yeah, yep. did she's Kelly, on the list now too. Oh, did Ke- when did that? When we get that on the list? Oh, about 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, really? really? Yep. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Well, God will save her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or her husband. Yeah. Uh, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if you uh, agree or don't agree. I, I think it's worse than they're saying it is right now. I think uh, so too. I, I I don't think a lot of people believe that they wouldn't have sent him to the hospital because they have every medical thing they need at the White House. In fact, while he was there, they were already giving him certain protocols like remdesivir and I think uh, Clorox, Ray. Burger King. UV lights. UV lights. UV light, yeah. I agree. I agree with that because he's muy macho. Remember, he's the macho guy. Yeah. He doesn't want to be seen brought to the hospital. He doesn't want to be seen to need help. I don't. I think it's worse than than they're saying. Yeah, it's and and that and, or and, doesn't have it at all. and I'm saying that that uh, they sent him to the hospital. They say for two days or for a couple of days. Hmm. Don't think they said two days. I think they said a couple of days. And and uh, they say he's not. He's having trouble breathing. Is the mm-hmm. latest report. I mean, these are, see, we get really specious reports coming out because they, they're not for, forthcoming with us. They don't say, hey, he's got it really bad and he's going to well, go to the, I mean, at least, you know, when his pal over in England got it, Boris Johnson, they were telling people, hey, he's got it pretty damn bad. He's going to the hospital. And he was there for three weeks, four weeks. Yep. Right? Now, if if Trump gets it bad, and let's say he doesn't die, which you know I, I, I'm sorry I I, uh, I I'm an adversary of his, but I'm certainly not a uh, an enemy of, of his. Uh, so I don't wish death on him. But uh, even if he doesn't die, the recovery period from this could be as much as four weeks. He's missed the whole election. Yeah, could be months. You know, what you yeah, know, Robert's going <laughs> shucks. And it's funny when you when you watch. I was listening to CNN on satellite, and every every single person who talked, the first thing they would say is, "We don't want anything to happen to him. We want to him and the, <laughs> we don't want anything said, to don't happen want, to him." Yeah, yeah, I don't want anything that I don't want him to die. I just want him to lose the election by a lot. Yeah. That's now, lot. now my question is. How will this affect his election chances? In, in other words, is this yeah. is it going to be a sympathy for him? No. Nah. no, nah. I don't think so. There was no, no sympathy for Hillary when they thought she was sick. Yeah. It, it, oh, you're right. Th- that did happen the last time, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. When she went into the hospital for something. When she yep. had pneumonia, yeah. yeah. Mild case of pneumonia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. No sympathy at all for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She that, that's the thing about. Yeah, that's that's the thing about a person. Do you imagine, like Trump, do you imagine if he, this happened to Biden and if she was on the other foot, it'd have been it'd have been a shit show. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I heard a report that from beyond the great beyond, John McCain said, "I only respect presidents who didn't get COVID." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> well, at least Look, Biden, he, he had enough respect to I'm pull gonna, all the nasty ads, too. I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to yeah. yeah. let all of you vote on something here. I have somebody in the waiting room. No, it's not who you think. Uh, I have somebody in the waiting room, and I can either leave them in the waiting room or I can bring them into this fold, and that's Charlene. How many vote for me to let Charlene into the show? <laughs> okay, well, the, uh, two. Okay, we two. two? Yeah. What's wrong with Charlene? What, what did she ever do? She's annoying. Well, 
he tends to take over the whole show like Phil. She was good for a little while. She was she was very quiet for a little while. And then uh, yeah, well, uh, well, I will I will go by your wishes and not look like the bad guy. You're the host. <laughs> I'm the host. Don't it's say all on that. you. Don't say that because Trump is the host too. Uh, yeah, that's why everybody's wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. Josh, how do you feel this is going to go? Um, um, how's your? What's your feeling about all of this? You know. Um, I. I mean, apparently the president is sick. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, rebel in it or anything. I mean, I. I. I think he did it to himself. Yeah. I mean, not that a person can maybe avoid contracting this. I mean, I, I could have it now or get it tomorrow and whatever, I guess. But what I'm saying is, is I'm not, you know, walking around saying, oh, it's, I think it's fake. Let me, you know, flip this doorknob or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. but... Uh, I mean, you know, I, I right. think that... Who, who, who's making noise with their... They're moving something, like the microphone. Uh, you know, I think the president and a lot of the people around him kind of thought this was a kind of a joke, you know? And, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, he, he's on tape saying he knows how bad it is and all that, but then he did the things that he did, which would include not yeah. following a lot of protocols. So... I guess either way, kind of, you know, if he didn't do it to himself, then he certainly didn't do anything to stop it from happening. Yeah. You know, and he certainly undertook a lot of irresponsible activity. So, so I guess I would look at this like, like your friend got drunk and wrecked his car and, you know, he's okay. So, you know, or banged up or whatever. And you think that's great that he's okay. But at the same time, you're like, you know, man, what the fuck's wrong with you? you know? It's like I mean, your friend yeah. who... That's very stupid. What the fuck were you doing? You could have killed people. You know what I mean? It's yeah. You, you got to talk to him like that at the same yeah. time. But it's also so, the same way you're going to feel... up. I hope you learned your lesson. It's the same, right. it's the, it's the same way you're going to feel about people, okay, <clears throat> uh, who, who do get drunk, all right, uh, and go and drive a car. And then one day they have an accident and you knew it was going to happen eventually. You know, so, uh, and you go, well, you know, what can I say? Well, I mean, we all, you know, I don't know that I knew this was going to happen because he is the president and he does have people preventing this sort of thing from happening. And uh, uh, I think it was Cuomo who said when he visited the White House, he said they went through protocols that uh, they don't even go through at the governor's mansion. You had to go through, they had to take two COVID tests while they were there before they even went in to see the president. That's how fearful he was of getting it. So the fact that he got it, you know. Uh, well, it, it's interesting, too, because they were they were showing the, uh, the debate the other night. Mm -hmm. And the debate, the family shows up. And the, they walked through the checkpoints and all that. Yeah, the rule, by the right way, up. the rules at that by the, uh, by the school. Had to be that, the masks and you had to have tests. Yes. And they walk through the checkpoints, and they get in. They sit down. They all ripped off their masks. Well, there's and one. Other, there's one other factor you're forgetting. They got there late. Yes, I'm. I'm getting to that. Yeah. But they get in there, and they took off their mask, and then they had video of the doctor going in there and asking them, "Here's another mask. You can put this on. You can put this on." And they all refused. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't put on another mask or the one they brought. And then on top of that, like you said, everybody else was getting there, what, a day early to go through the protocol, to get tested, to isolate, and everything just to be in the audience. And they got there at 5 o'clock that night. Yeah. They weren't tested. They were on the quote-unquote honor system, and they walked right in. Took the mask down. off and sat down. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it's almost like, you know. You or know, God and you're not. Yeah. Remember, he keeps saying he gets tested every day. That's BS. Yeah, but a test is only as good as the time you get tested. Well, you know the I, thing that I, I that I that bothered me today. Marjorie <laughs> mentioned it, and she said this is what really pissed her off. She said, "Right now, he's getting medical medical care, the likes of which no American 
would be mm-hmm. given. Nice yeah. insurance. A nice insurance, yep. yeah. I you mean, don't have to pay a dime. I mean, what, you're getting you're in the White House and somebody's shooting you up with remdesivir right there? You know? Uh, and, uh, 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 you know, here comes the helicopter to take you to the hospital so you can get there within a minute and a half. You know? I was hoping it would, wouldn't take you off. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if he was any other president, we'd want that anyway. No, so but I, I mean, gotta... well, of course, of course. Yeah. But it just kind of makes you mad because of how many people have died who didn't right. have the luxury of that kind of help. Right. I agree. Okay. Yes, sure. uh, Br- Bree's got his hand up. And uh, then, uh, then I'm trying Brian. to pack the, I'm packing the court here. Because you had a 6-3. Now I'm coming up to be, uh, I'm going to add five from the chat room. They want Charlene. So we're packing this, the court here. <laughs> the votes weren't going our way. Is so there, re- is there a reason why you want Charlene? We need female representation on the panel. Okay, That's well, the- and Charlene is what? <laughs> female. Oh, okay. Um. I never oh, thought she okay. was that bad. Well, she, you don't have to. You know, I'm the, guy, I'm the guy driving the car, and occasionally there's somebody <laughs> There's somebody who keeps tugging on the steering wheel, you know? Uh, and, I, and I thought that that was Trump with Biden. No, no. Okay, I will, bring, um, I will bring Charlene in as long as she remains good. Uh, All right, we can vote her off at any time. Yeah. Like, okay, if, if she minds her manners... Now she can't even get her can't you can't even get her camera straight. See? Look at that. Look at that. I'm glad, Alex, that I didn't go pee while I was waiting. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I said I bet well, you're, if you're, I try to go you're, pee, you'll I gotta turn tell on you, the camera. You're, you're upside down. You're sideways. Oh, oh, all right. I'm sorry. That way? Well, that's the only way it's going to work because well, your thing. Oh, there it is. Do it the other way. Do it the, the way you just did. No, the other way. There, is, there we go. I'll move. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. So wouldn't it be interesting if Mike Pence has to take control of this whole thing? No, it really wouldn't. No. <laughs> Imagine, no. Imagine well, that. No, no, that's not interesting. That's a nightmare. Serious. Yeah. How, it was, he might be the only one left standing. I'll tell you. Uh, uh, yes, I, Brian. I, Brian has been had his hand up here for a while. Brian, you know, whenever you want to talk on Zoom, you can actually kind of jump in. Because and, it, it doesn't mute other people like uh, Skype did. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I'll bear that in mind in the future. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, I just, real quick, I was just going to make some uh, quasi smart ass remark in the sense that it would be nice regarding the health care that uh, Mr. Trump is receiving, mm-hmm. regarding his diagnosis. Mm-hmm. It would be nice if both candidates would allow any one of us, regardless of where we fall on the income spectrum, in the United States of America, to have access to that kind of health care with or without insurance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean. Um, but neither of them want that. Yeah. Uh, but the, the fact is that, but, you know, I mean, yes, he, he they, they want to take care of him. And, he, you know, but I just, it, it, it's a, there are people out there who have died of this and have not I'm had not- the luxury of the kind of help or the science He's getting the science right now that he didn't like. I'm right? sorry. I'm not letting that go. Uh, to mm-hmm. you, Alex, or anyone on this panel, I'm not letting that go regarding Biden. And he has the audacity to say that we don't deserve Medicare for all in the face of an unprecedented pandemic. Are you fucking kidding me? Yep. Get off your hubristic ivory tower and uh, do your Well, uh, job. you know something? I disagree with you. Okay, and I disagree with you on this. Is that Medicare for all is a is a is a concept? What it's basically saying is universal health care. Okay, uh, he obviously I listened to his speech today about his handling of the economy and so on, and he talked about uh, the medicine and so on, and that you know that he wants health care for everybody, uh, and uh, it, but it's a question of how you pull it off. You know, we have a country in which this current medical system has been so baked in that to change that like that by saying, hey, well, suddenly we have, you know, we have uh, universal health care. We have Medicare for all. It's, it's not that easy, although Medicare for all is probably the easiest one because all you do is fill in that 20 percent 
and then you give what everybody else has over the age of 65 to everybody. So it's all in, it's in place. So it would be the easiest one to do. Okay. If he were to promise Medicare for all, and he gave me that as a reason as to why it can't be yeah. done immediately, I understand. What you're explaining yeah. to me is understandable and relatable. What I cannot get over is how he's been on the record a number of times as saying that he won't he won't ever do it. Even if it gets passed by a Democratic Senate and a House, he'll veto it. He's on record as having said that in the midst of a pandemic. Okay, but what you're doing is changing the subject. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're on one thing, and now we're all of a sudden we're doing, you know, health care. Well, which, dovetailing with the health care that uh, Trump is receiving. In well, all I'm stealth. saying is that, no, I'm, I'm talking about the fact that there are people in this country who, if, if tomorrow I get COVID, I am not going, I'm going to get some good care, okay, because I am insured, but I am not going to get the kind of care that he's getting. I'm not going to get that kind of attention. And that's what I was, that was the point I was trying to make. And I think everybody else here feels the same way. So the question is, where do we go from here? I mean, mm -hmm. let's face it, there, there, there's not going to be a debate in two weeks or whenever the next it's one's going to be. be. Show, as always. And the, the debate after that one is not going to take place because he's going to have to be quarantined for at least 14 days, if not more so. Yes, Brie? Debate on Zoom. They can just do it as a Zoom call. Uh, suppose he's really sick. Awesome. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, well that would yeah that would kind that of would kind of hold it back, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, they could do it on they could do it on Zoom, uh, uh, but um, uh, you know this gives him a perfect pass for having to do anything any of the things he's supposed to do to come in con in contact with Biden and have a discussion yeah. with Biden. Yes, Jeff. We should remember that one of our uh, our presidents got very sick. And his wife pretty much ran the country for, for yeah. a couple of Reagan. Um, oh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh. No, it's not Roosevelt. No, Reagan. Reagan. Oh, Reagan. Wilson. Oh, Reagan. Wilson. Nancy Wilson. Reagan. Wilson. Yeah, Nancy was making some calls for sure. Nancy yeah. was running the country for the last maybe year and a half, two well, years. Well, that's too. Reagan yeah. as well. Oh, I thought he yeah. would. Woodrow Wilson. I don't think uh, Melania wants that job. Uh, so either. Yeah. yeah, I got to tell you, yeah. I was uh, surprised to find out she's fifty years old. Yeah, I, I thought she was older, a little older than that. But no, I didn't think she was that. I, you know, I figured he married it. Oh, come on, she just had a child. What is he? Ten years old or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's he's like fourteen now. Fifteen. Yeah. Well, I think well he's, you know he's what's interesting <clears throat> is is that here he goes and he holds his big rose garden thing the other day and everybody's there patting each other on the back and high-fiving and and all that and then they get covid i mean you know mike lee now if anybody i'm not sorry for it's mike lee he's just Why do a, I gotta get it? all time great shit show you know i mean i i can't stand mike lee and then there's this the south carolina guy who is he i never heard of him you know half who these, is mike lee again Mike Lee is from uh, uh, Utah. Utah. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. The, yeah. He is a, a senator from Utah. And then okay. there's Tom Tillis. He's the senator of North Carolina. Has come down with COVID. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Republicans? Huh? Yeah. These are all Republicans. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are all the people. Man. These are all the. This was just a report by the New York Times. Of all the people in the Trump circle, in other Kelly words, Kellyanne Conway tested positive, and Kellyanne Conway just got tested po positive. So, uh, uh, you know, put her in the other column. So already we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Oh, that's so. They got it as a result of that Trump cluster. Okay. That means it only up to like twelve. And you know, we you know, all ruefully laugh, though, but what's this going to do to uh, the stock market and more or less what's this going to do to the economy come Monday and Tuesday? Well, and today it didn't, it didn't seem to hurt the it didn't seem to hurt the uh, the Dow. It went up. Yeah. You know, when I, well, the Dow, I looked at uh, on Google what the Dow was. and It went down like 150 some odd points or so. But they waited. I also heard on the Dino Badala show on uh, Sirius XM that uh, they apparently waited to take Trump 
to Walter Reed like within an hour or so before the stocks were set to close anyway. And they did that as a pre-calculated move so that it would minimize And so you believe what you hear on Sirius XM. Well, anyway. Well, you were on Sirius XM, Alex, so should I have believed everything you said? I was the only too? thing on Sirius XM you could believe. <laughs> That'll, a nice way to kiss your own ass. Yeah, well, I mean, why not? You know. Don't break your back doing so. <laughs> I won't. I won't. <laughs> You might leave yourself. Now, hello to Vernon. Place. Vernon, how did you feel? Is, 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 what we really should do is go around to all the people here and ask this question. How did you feel when you heard last night that Trump had COVID and Melania had COVID? I just heard about it right after the show was over. Yep. Uh, while the show was on, we still heard about Hope Hicks, and that was it. That was the big headline. How did you feel? I burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> And my, and my wife looked at me like, what are you doing? He's the president of the United States. I said, yeah, but he had it coming. He doesn't act like the president. Yeah, yeah. He had it coming. Well, I mean, he was asking for it. I think that's a better term. I wish I had that reaction. Yeah, no. uh, uh, how did you feel when you heard Charlene? Oh, me? Oh. Yes, your name it is Charlene. Right after the show went off the air. Yeah. I thought you guys knew it because... After the show ended and then I heard it, I said, oh, my God, it was no. like you and Brian and everybody knew the way you were talking no, last night. We, were, we were talking it. about Hope Hicks and what if Trump were to get it. You know, we, but, uh, when I heard it, I was like, yes. Well, Marjorie, Marjorie we woke up, woke up in the uh, before I when I got into bed about two o'clock. And and I said to her since she was awake, I said, guess what? And she says, what? She isn't like in a stupor. And I said. Trump and Melania have COVID. And she stopped and she went, you're kidding me, right? Yes. And I said, no, I'm not kidding you. She says, this is like election night all over again. She <laughs> says, you're telling me something. And I, I you know, I, I just I, am at a wit's end to try and believe it, you know. Right. And I, said, well, I, I, I said, don't revel in the good news. How did you feel when you heard about it, Tony? Tony? Oh, oh I, you, you're Tony. I, yes. Oh, the guy with I, the teeth that are getting I, better. I yeah. So happy. I heard you on You TV were so I happy? I was, uh, after the show ended, I said, I go in my room, I check on my mom, and I leave the radio on to hear the news. And I rolled over, and they were doing the news. And I, I, said, I didn't hear just what I just heard. And I mm -hmm. rolled back over, and I was happy. Put it this way, I wouldn't be lighting any candles for the church any times. I was really happy, Alex. Not for the wife, but for him. I think if this guy had been doing something about COVID, if he had been trying to stop it, you know, had not been, you know, questioning the science and all of that, you wouldn't have that reaction. You go, oh, I'm sorry, the president has it. But it's almost it like hurt. it's almost like he deserved it. You know, like I rolled over. I said, did I just hear them just say that? I said, no. And then I read it again for the next half hour, and then, you know, I says, he's got it. And I went to the bathroom, and I was just, like, walking around getting tea. And I was just like, oh, this is great. I says, this is great. I didn't, you know, and I know it doesn't make me a good Catholic, but I don't like the guy. <laughs> it's almost like better him than me or anybody else I know. Okay, okay so my Okay, uh, Charlie, how did, how did you feel when you first heard it? I mean, it, when, when did you hear it? Right after the show was over, I would imagine. Well, actually, I didn't hear about it until after Jack's show was over. Oh, really? Oh, because you were on Jack's show. Yeah. 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 But me too. So, yeah. So it, uh, my first thought was, well, you know, I wonder if 50% of Republicans still believe it's a hoax now. I saw over 50% believe that COVID was a hoax. Yeah. But what, what was your initial feeling? Were you happy? Yeah. Were you yeah. sad? I, well, I was like, uh, Brian, I, I thought, well, Serves him right. He, he he wouldn't do anything to to, to, to fight it. So it well, he wasn't right. he wasn't doing anything to. I feel sorry for all the people around him because he wasn't doing anything to protect them. Yeah, you know. And what's his name? Who was the black uh, guy who died? Uh, Herman oh, Cain. Herman Cain. 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 I mean, Cain. that's the one question Biden didn't sh should have asked him at the uh, at the uh, yeah. uh, at the uh, debate is. How do you feel about the fact that you were responsible for the death of Herman Cain? 
because he went to one of your rallies and didn't wear a mask. I would you have loved to have heard what the answer to that one would have been. You know what I thought of Twitter Alex when he when they found out? Mm -hmm. The one thing he said, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what that's what, that's what Brian's it. name is tonight. It is what it is. You Brian, <laughs> Brian, how'd you feel? When did you hear about it? After the show? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. After the show, and I was really happy that he got it. But the reason why I was happy, no, 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 no. The reason why I was happy was because I thought that maybe this will change some kind of outlook or something like you guys are saying about about healthcare and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But then after I started thinking about it in the morning, I'm like, this isn't going to change him. He's not going to like become, you know, born again and say, wow, you know what? I, I was I almost died from this. I, I was so scared. And, you know, I, I feel these ways now about stuff. Did Boris think, Johnson, do you think, did Boris Johnson change, do you think, at all because of the experience? A little you, bit. A little bit, yeah. Jeff, how did you feel when you heard about it last night? Oh, well, I, I was kind of asleep in the morning, and I hear my wife, like, yelling and talking, <laughs> and she's on the phone. And I go, what the heck is going on here? And she is having a ball, and she's talking to her girlfriend, and they're going, nah, 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 nah. and I, I got out, because I have to go to a doctor anyway that day. And I find out it's Marjorie, your wife, on the phone with Pam, and she told Oh, they Pam, were with really talking to each other? She didn't tell me that. Yes, this morning at like 6 o'clock or 6.30. <laughs> And, and I go, oh, and Pam goes, you're not going to believe who's right here. And I, I kind of walk by, and she looks like, oh, geez, it's Marjorie. How are you? Oh, you're, she was and a, then yeah. I says, what's, what's going on? Trump has got it. I go, oh, <laughs> how good could it be? And I says, did he die? <laughs> not yet. Did he die? Yeah. We gotta Please. Wait yeah. We should do a death pool. No, oh, I, 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 you know. no, I think a guy who killed, realistically, <laughs> 200,000 plus yeah. people have died on this thing. And, and I would guess, uh, by a little better management, half of them could have survived. Well, for all I mean, you religious zealots out there who are Trump fans, God got him. Yeah, you're right. You know, <laughs> they, God they, got him. Uh, uh, Bree, how did you feel when you heard it? Um, I felt like I do now. Is this fake news? Can I really believe this? Do I know it's true? I still don't know. That's the legacy of Trump. The legacy is you never know when something is true or not. It's kind of like the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, when it when it's really something like this, you still go, well, is he doing it as a ploy to win the election? You know, or is to he, get is out he, of debates? Is he faking it to get out of debates or whatever? But if he's faking it, he's got some a lot of uh, interesting Confederates, like all the doctors at Walter Reed Hospital. You know, have they well, said anything? Huh? Remember, no, no, they haven't. The said story anything. that I remember is in New York. There were stories of reporters who would claim that they would get a call late at night from Jim Smith. Mm -hmm. And then later they found out it was Trump manipulating his voice to tell them some story about himself. So he likes to plant stories that change, you know, that get more attention or allow him to play some narrative. Yeah. So I don't put it past him. Right, right. And the second thing I thought is, did he give it to Biden? Uh, and because at 10 feet and yelling, Definitely those droplets can go. And they say that it might have been pre-debate uh, preparation. So people who were putting in the lecterns, if Biden was touching the lectern and they didn't uh, decontaminate that effectively or a doorknob in the back room, then Biden could have it. Wow. And what if we, hit, we don't have either candidate for the election? Oh shit! If we lose Biden before the election because of COVID, well, it is I don't. I think Biden is safe. Uh, he had two tests already today to make yeah. sure, and okay. he doesn't seem to have it. But then again, you know, I mean, it does take what uh, for uh, t uh, two to fourteen days. So you know, you, you can test negative now and not necessarily be out of the woods. Kevin, where where were you, and how did you feel when you heard it? 
Uh, I just got done watching the last part of your show and had to leave early, so I heard you talking about Hope and them. And I'd gone downstairs, done some stuff, started watching the local news. They didn't have nothing on it, and my daughter came running downstairs, 15 years mm -hmm. old, and she said, uh, Trump's got it. And I said, what? And she goes, he's got COVID. You mean he said, won the election already? <laughs> yeah. And I said, what? And she goes, my, my friend Emily just told me that there's a Twitter a Twitter, you know, thing, you know, and she said, I said, what? So I got on the thing and I looked up Twitter and there it was 12 minutes ago. We've got COVID. And I went, holy shit. So I started doing the news. Yeah. And then a friend of mine from Oregon up in Portland, she sent me a message and said, he's got it. I think we just, you know, our prayers are answered. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, it just went on from there. But, you know, I, I, I felt the same way. I'm going, okay, is this real right off the bat? And then, you know, you feel bad you feel you know he's the president so you feel bad a little bit and then you go okay and i had the same kind of feeling that kind of josh did that yeah it's like a, a, your friend got in a wreck you don't want to it's it, it's that you know you mm -hmm. fucked up idiot you really fucked up this time and we've been telling you over and over mm -hmm. you know wear a mask you know this shit ain't gonna you ain't gonna get by this shit right but look what happened now you're fucked you know that's what i kept thinking and he's fucked now hold, let's see if he can get out of it okay i'm 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 I mean, I'm, 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 I'm saving the best for the last uh, i'm getting to you last robert because i always like to hear what you've got to say when i ask a question like this but uh uh, uh josh how'd you feel when you heard about it well, I mean, you know, it's just like I was saying earlier. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, there's there's the office of the presidency and there's the person that inhabits the office at any given time. And, you know, I quite disdain the person who inhabits the office. But at the same time, you know, damage can be done through this, you know, yeah. With with the way that it's going. And I mean, you know, my analogy there earlier, but there are two different kinds of ways with that. You know, if your friend got drunk and wrecked his car and two days before his wife and his kids all died in a car accident, you'd feel you'd still be angry, but you'd feel a little bit different about it because you would kind of understand the way he acted. But, you know, Trump is the guy who did it. And days earlier, he was running around telling everybody, oh, I, I don't need no damn designated driver. That sissy bitch over there, every time he takes a drink, gets a taxi cab home, and then he doesn't. You know, you, yeah. it's a little different, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, the circumstances that surround the situation are a little bit different, and these are sad. And I think that... Yeah. I think it's sad that we've reached a level of disrespect for the office of the presidency that it's come to this and that people either feel one way or the other about this. Yeah, but who who and created... I will not deny that Trump did a lot yeah. to get it there. Okay? Yeah, okay. You know, I mean, That's what I was no say. doubt. Yeah. I'll tell you, uh, if it, it was... A, let me finish. If it was Bush in there, and I was no fan of Bush, but if Bush had it, I would have felt a lot, be, a lot different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Because if, if, you know, think about what he did with 9-11... You know, you didn't like you didn't like him, but you know what happened after that, and you know how he brought the country together might is a little different. Yeah, right. It, it, you know, mm -hmm. the same thing. If he had gotten COVID, I wouldn't feel so such oh, fuck that asshole. But right, you know, right, right. We had to wait till Katrina before we said fuck that asshole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know. So, uh, uh, I mean, he had respect for the office, and this guy has no respect. For John office. Larkin. How'd you feel yeah, when, when how'd you feel I, when when you heard about it? Well, as much as I hate the guy and, and and I I I was I told a lot of people I hope he gets COVID, you know, because he's such an asshole. But well, then, but then when I heard he had it, I kind of felt, ah oh, man, you can't you can't think about it like that for a person, you know. It, mm -hmm. you know. But then I started thinking about it and something's fishy. He, he, he might be faking it, he, you know. Just yeah, so he doesn't have to fucking run the campaign anymore, because he knows he's he's gonna lose. But it, maybe if he uh, pulls this shit off and gets you know the sympathy, you know, and all of a sudden at the last second, you know, he goes, "Oh, I I was using hydro 
chlorophene and it helped me and I cured me. See, I told you. Yeah, Alex, I'm not so paranoid, am I? <laughs> huh? No, that's what? what I was telling Alex. I said, I'm not so paranoid, am I? Well, no, <laughs> I, 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 I... It seems fishy to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I felt, it, it, uh, kind, I kind of, of his, look, I kind of felt the same thing. It's All kind right. of his past. It's because uh, uh, of his past. Yeah. You know. It doesn't yeah. make me not hate the guy any more than what I always have. But right. But you don't want to think something like that for a guy. Right. I wouldn't call I mean, it hate. You'd it was Hitler, like, maybe. Right. I hate the word hate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I hate the word hate. Yeah, yeah dislike. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, um, uh, and let me see here. And we've just been, uh, uh, been joined by Ray Renati. Hello. Yeah, how did you feel when you heard about it? Trump's illness? Mm -hmm. um, at first, I was terrible. I was like, oh, good, I hope he dies. And then I felt guilty about saying that. No. Uh, I, I mean, I think he's sick at this point. Uh I don't think he's. I, I I never really doubted it like some people, but now with all these symptoms and everything, I don't think they would take it that far. Okay, I don't think they would Robert, lie to that Robert it is your turn. I had two reactions. My first reaction was to laugh louder than Vernon. Um, <laughs> and my first, the first words that crossed my mind was "Karma is a bitch." Yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I, I I truly. I, I'm 70 years old. I've never hated a human being in my life until this man. Mm. I'm going to cop mm. to that. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. And yeah. I'm not I'm not motivated by any particular uh, religious guilt. So I don't really give a flying rat's ass what happens to him. I think he brought upon himself the yeah. disgrace to the office of the presidency. Um, my second thought was to remember an interview I saw with James Carville back in April, where Carville predicted that at some point Trump would uh, bow out of the race and make up some kind of half-assed excuse because yeah. he wouldn't be able to tolerate the idea of a defeat. Yeah, and it crossed my mind, and I smiled and thought, "Holy mm, shit!" Yeah, could it well, be? yeah, I, I remember Carville saying that, oh. and now that you mention it. Yeah, he said that, you know. Uh, the only problem with this, it would take sort of a conspiracy. There'd have to be so many people in on it because, the doc, you know, the doctors, the hospital, everything. Has the it's hospital verified that he has COVID? Okay. I've never seen anything yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, let, let's, let's, I'm let's. I'm telling you, he's drawing attention away from his comments at the debate, from his taxes. This, it would be classic <laughs> Trump, classic <laughs> Trump. And then he comes out. Uh, uh, two weeks later, said, I, I defeated it. This is nothing. Now let on to the election. <laughs> uh, is that what you're rooting for or is that what you're predicting? That's what I'm predicting. I'm predicting he comes out and says, this this is nothing. Sounds uh, like and the other. See, I told you, Alex, we need Tim. Well, you know, Tim would bring out the paranoia. <laughs> the point is, you're, I mean, it, 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 all these ideas that you're saying of, of suspicion and so on and so forth only goes with the territory of the uh, uh, of the atmosphere he's created, okay, of complete distrust that you don't believe anything that comes out of the White House. Right. I mean, I don't even believe that maybe that, that, that wasn't a fake helicopter that was done by CGI <laughs> at your Lucasfilm today, you know. I mean... It's gotten that it way that we have such time. distrust, you know. I mean, our immediate response, and we got all these different responses from people, and the, the immediate response we should have was, well, you know, I don't like the guy, but, gee, you know, I, I'm sorry for him, and I feel for him, and I hope he and Melania are fine, okay? But we can't say that because here's been a president who has done some things that we feel are actually killing us. You know, yes, Robert. I have one other thought. Um, America is wonderful about forgiveness. We've done that with athletes who've used, you know, performance enhancing drugs if they if they fess up. We've done it with entertainers who, you know, fall off and get involved with some kind of substance abuse, for example. We've done it with politicians who go astray. What America never forgives is arrogance and hubris. And I think that's the difference here. 
is that this is an arrogant son of a bitch that mm. everyone thinks, you know, <clears throat> you got your come up and mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. I mean, hold on a second. I, I saw a cartoon. Forget that two hundred plus mm. thousand people got killed by because of this attitude. That yeah, there's gonna be more. I was trying to t- I saw a cartoon, Alex, that said uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has argued her first case before God. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> the, you know, what I was trying to do here, folks, was I was trying to take a picture of my screen because we hit, uh, we hit more people watching this program tonight than have ever watched it at one time. Wow. Uh, yeah, an amazing amount. Yeah. It must be because you brought Charlene on. Probably that. that <laughs> it, it, we packed the court. Everybody went. We I we don't want to watch the show till Charlene shows up. Uh, yeah, you, you know, I mean, it it, it it's horrible. I mean, uh, look, I'm going to say this, and it's not objective for the host of a show to say this sort of thing, but Trump is really a terrible human being. And so, therefore, you know, when a t- when something like this happens to a terrible human being, you go. Ugh. Okay, I don't care. Uh, but I, I can't feel that way because I, I, can't w- I, I wouldn't wish death on somebody. You know, Howard Stern used to have a saying on his show that he used to use all the time that I thought was disgusting. He said, I, I, I wish cancer on him. Uh, and, oh yeah, and, and, and you know, you that. can go so far, but I think wishing cancer on somebody <laughs> is a little mm-hmm. bit severe it's yes charlie to make it more colorful. charlie yeah i was gonna say i i can't as far as i know the only people that have verified that trump has covid are tr- trump himself with his tweet and the white house doctor i haven't seen anything i just googled it i haven't seen anything from walter reed hospital confirming that he has covid well uh, first of all walter reed hospital they're doctors, okay. Mm-hmm. And if you if you call a hospital and you have a friend who's sick who's in they just had an operation and you want to know how they're doing, you won't get an answer. You right. Know? So that's how come you can't say it takes a huge uh, conspiracy. It's the only conspiracy is between Trump and his and the White House doctor. Are you saying something? Gets him out of the debates. You what? Gets him out of the debates. Gives him a yeah. sympathy card. Yeah, it does uh, get him to become victorious well, right before the vote. How yeah. is this? L- let's get down to the basis on. It. Let's get selfish now. How is this going to affect the election? Uh, we know it's going to affect it helps to a Trump. Certain, huh? Helps, helps, helps Trump. 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 Yeah. No, it doesn't. I I do. Well, um, I'll tell you. Why, well, I'll tell you why because uh, he thinks so. Hmm? Trump just. He, I, I just think he's been saying so much stupid shit and. Everybody realizes how bad he is, and so you know if he just keeps quiet, you know, until the maybe maybe people will kind of forget about it or something and yeah. give him a break because he's sick. I don't know. Um, yeah. uh, well, you you disagree, uh, Robert? Oh, I couldn't disagree more. I'm trying to picture this American who's sitting home now and thinks I was going to vote for Joe Biden. But this other motherfucker who's been an asshole for four years has yeah. suddenly gotten sick. So <laughs> it's a good idea. Let's reelect him. You know, right. I, I some life of me. Somebody yeah. in our uh, in our chat room wrote is because of Alex Bennett's twin, which is you know it's not a, hor- a wonderful thing to be. Uh, <laughs> taking Trump to the hospital is not out of caution. It's much much worse than that. Yeah, I think it's worse. I think for him to take so. it, he's actually there. Then he must be in serious. Yeah. It keeps him in the news. He wants to be in the news all the time. It keeps yeah. him in the news. He's really like mean. Boris Karloff. Well, he might wind up on the obituary page if he wants to be in the news that badly. Yeah. You know? Now, Pete Dirk's a left turn tomorrow. If we get news tomorrow morning, then he's in critical. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ray, I'll, I'll tell I you why. Wait a minute. Ray Renati's had his hand. I just wanted to say that I don't think he's, I don't think it's a hoax. <laughs> I love that word. I don't think it's a hoax because there are a number of other people who have tested positive 
from uh, that day on the lawn or whatever it was where they think everyone caught it. There's Hope Hicks, and there's four or five other people, apparently. Oh, no, Kellyanne Conway. Oh, Kellyanne Conway has it. Yeah. Almost 12 well, now. Mike Lee, a couple of senators, Mike Lee and Tom Tillis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Brian? For selfish political and economic reasons, I don't wish death on him, at least not until after January 20th. Yeah. If, however, he were a family member or somebody with that same personality who didn't have that power, then yes, I absolutely would wish death on him. Absolutely. <laughs> Deep down, okay, let, let me say this. I don't wish that he dies, okay? No. I'm not wishing death on him. But if tomorrow he dropped dead, I wouldn't give a shit. I can go with that. I'd still me have too. Him. All right? There. That's, what, that, that's the difference. It's not that I want him dead, but if he died, I'd go, eh, okay, let's get on with life. I still want to see him lose in that. I still want to see him lose. Tragically, yeah. I would, you know, you know, I would, I would like to see that happen. I, 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 yeah. oh, and then go to jail. But yeah. exactly. Not, but yeah. Not, yeah. And now, when he loses, what's he going to blame it on? Well, I got the COVID <laughs> and I couldn't <laughs> campaign, <laughs> and that's why I lost. He's going to come up with some kind You're of right. excuse. We want him healthy. Right. Well, By the way, if he goes to prison, right. his sentence should include raking the forests in California. <laughs> 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 Now, let me well. let me ask Josh this. Josh, what happens? Uh, let, let's give it a, a scenario here that he's in the hospital. He goes into a coma, okay, and Election Day comes around. Is he still on the ballot, or are we voting for Pence? He's on the ballot. He's on the ballot. Yeah. Let's say then he's after on the ballot, at, if he's, he's on the ballot if he's dead. Let's say that yeah. uh, that he's on an intubator I mean, and... and uh, uh, on November fifth, they decide they got to pull the innovator. Goodbye, Trump. Does Pence automatically become president? No, that, that's when if they invoke wins. the Twenty Fifth Amendment. The, what? what yeah, because I mean, it's unable to. The, I mean, you would go into the line of succession. succession. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so uh, it would be Pence, right? Yeah, Pence would be president at least until January twentieth, yeah, depending I mean, on whether the, or not they win. The names on the ballot are certified at this point, so they're going to stay. What if yeah, he dies uh, and then he wins? Regardless. <laughs> that happened you know. before. Oh, that's happened. Oh, the line of succession. Well, like Trump would say, can you imagine the ratings on his funeral? <laughs> <laughs> Biggest funeral <laughs> ever. More people were watching that funeral than ever watched any funeral in history. <laughs> I'd rather have a dead Trump as president than a live one. Right. <laughs> right. Trump can't go to prison. No. Just stick him in the old. I have a feeling like, that even if he were dead and still president, he'd be able to do some kind of damage. Yeah. You yeah. know. Well, just put him in the office like Tony's mom. Just sit him there. <laughs> yeah. So they could do yeah. some kind of. How, how about Tony? Let's Most get the, get one other idea. How did your mother feel when she heard about it? And she's trying to sleep on the couch. She's telling me, "Don't wish death on people." All right, I'm going your own. Oh, did still... she hear me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Shit, I didn't know she could hear. Jesus. I should be in the video, but sorry, 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 sorry. We're sorry. still going food shopping tonight, but she's staying home. Call me if you drop some of the tell. Her. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, anyway, mom, and, and, see her. how did your mother? Your mom really there? How? What happened to Tony? Oh God! Now we got the wallpaper and the oh, chintz God. curtain. Okay. Jesus. I wish we could. I wish we could remote. I wish we could remote turn that camera. Oh you know God. what I want to do? I want to get a picture of that and then it, send it to everybody. And then you can take on Zoom and make it your background picture. Right. And everybody can have the same <laughs> background. Remember, remember what uh, Betty Davis said when Joan Crawford died? They said they, gave, they you know they asked her for a quote and she goes, "It's not good to talk about. It's not good to talk ill about the dead." Joan Crawford's dead. Good. <laughs> <laughs> she did not like Joan Crawford. No, no, they didn't get along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but this, you know, this has been the strangest year of my life, and I don't know if it's you felt the same way, but I think it's been a strange year for all of our lives. And this makes it even stranger. This is like this is like the this is another candle on the cake, you know? Yeah. Uh, What's I mean, gonna happen next? <laughs> just, I mean, no, nobody's gonna like it, which is fine. But I mean, I found tonight to be a little bit of a rather uncomfortable event of hypocrisy from the left because I'm just telling you right now that if Joe Biden were sick, 
and there were a bunch of fucking right wingers sitting around saying some of the stuff that I've heard on this program tonight. People on the left would be playing their clips and talking about how fucking terrible it was. You are absolutely and correct. We're not correct. doing that because we happen to dislike this person. But yep. there are another group of individuals in this country that don't like a person that we like. So I think that what has happened has mm -hmm. been a rather sad event surrounding the office of the presidency of the United States who happens to be occupied by a person that I think is a low life individual yet nevertheless occupies it. Right. And he is at this time in an unknown status and may at some point in the future be completely fine, be incapacitated yeah. or be dead. And, you know, our country has been through that before. Yeah. And we'll go through it at some point in the future. I mean, hell, it used to be rather common. About every fourth or fifth president on average would die in office. Every 20 years. So I, 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 I have I, no worries about how it will go. I just think that, you know, if some of the things that were said on this show were said on Fox News about Joe Biden tonight or tomorrow or the next day, mm -hmm. you know, some of the people that are here right now would be going fucking uh, let me Let me say this. Yes, one big difference, first, Josh, first of all, one big difference. It's first, first there is no difference if you are a citizen of the United States of America. There's one big difference. Who in this trust is my difference. In the Constitution let me explain my difference, Josh. We're in Ethan. Wait, hold on a second. Josh Vernon wants to explain the difference. Let me explain my difference. The difference is the disrespect that we have been showing to Donald Trump, he brought on himself. That's the difference. Yeah, I, uh, I let, me, let me go to Charlie. He's had his hand up here, and then I want to make a comment about that to you, Josh. Yeah, yes, I, I want, Charlie. Let, let's make no, uh, let's, no, let's be sure about one thing, and that is that if this had happened to a Democratic president, there would be a lot fucking worse things being said on Fox News and on conservative radio. A hell of a lot worse than what we said tonight. We've been almost downright respectful compared to what Rush Limbaugh or 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 the the five on Fox. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little issue with Josh on this because I think we're dealing with a person who has pushed his personality on America and has created a persona. And what we're reacting to is the persona here. In the case of Joe Biden, slightly different situation. I don't know that even Fox could do what we're doing because they all have to admit Biden's a pretty decent guy. He's a pretty stand-up guy, you know? Uh, I don't think you I, people on Fox can say, oh, he's a socialist and he's a this and he's a that and all the political things. But if you said, what do you think of him as a, as a, as a person? I don't think many people would find much fault with Joe Biden. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, some people dislike him because of his politics. But as a person, he, he's pretty stand-up, and I think that given Fox reporting, say, the, uh, uh, Joe Biden getting coronavirus and going to the hospital, I don't think they'd be having the same attitude we've got here. And I don't, you know, I, I just, I, you know, I... I, I I may be wrong, but I, I don't, don't know that they would either. I just said that if they did, yeah, there would be people on this panel. Oh, we would be, we be, we'd be insane. They would lose it. their fucking a mind. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. I would, yeah. I would lose my mind. Uh, yeah, I would too. I'll, I'll what's the that. difference? And you There's can't tell me difference. it's because he's a low There's life a individual. Difference. No, no, wait. You can't tell me he, it's 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 okay for me to do it because he's a low life individual. That's like white people saying, "Well, I can call that guy a nigger because uh, that's the way they live, and they live like." Uh, savages and apes. No, I, I think that's a false break. equivalency. I, don't know. Gosh, I respect, I respect no, everything you've ever said on the show. White people justified their use of that language for decades based on that logic, just like Vernon tried to tell me three minutes ago, well, it's okay for me to act that way because Josh, he's a piece of shit. Josh, was it morally wrong? Because he believes wrong? that he's a piece of shit. Josh, let me ask you this question. Was it morally wrong for us to wish for the death of Hitler during World War II? I, I mean, at some point, I mean, it, many your, of us made the moral judgment that we would be a better world without him here. That's yeah. an individual. So that's much the same thing. Point of view. Yeah, okay. Well, then. I mean, and Hitler was was actively engaged in 
mass genocide, two hundred thousand people, and here. openly declared war. Two hundred thousand people here, Josh. Okay, well, from gross negligence. Okay, but not. He didn't actively create it and disperse it amongst the people and isn't making active plans to continually do so with no end in sight, openly. I don't yeah, agree with you. Dead people at the border. Dead people at the border. Active and continuing. Look, he's a gross, negligently terrible person. There's no doubt about it. I'm just saying that's how you feel about it. And... Well, he you know, he actively I, wishing a, a serving president of the United States to die in office. Well, I don't is think it's your personal that. choice. I'm, I'm just saying by. it's your personal choice. But you, you, you let me ask that. you this, Josh. I mean, and, and Josh, and, I'm just and, and, saying, and I know when the other party yeah. does it, you're going to have a fit. Yeah, and I know it. I know what you're saying, Josh. We're wrong uh, and we're right, and I decided that we're right. And they're wrong because we know better. And that's the same thing you accuse. That's not what I said, though, Josh. If you listen to what I said, if you listen to what I said, I said the disrespect that we have been showing him tonight, he brought upon himself. Exactly. That's what I said. And I said he did a lot to bring it upon himself. But that doesn't make you right. I think. Serve it up to him. Okay. But I I think. What is wrong with your camera tonight? Okay. (laughs) Uh, uh, We're debating uh, morals here. I mean, you know, we could we could de- just be debating, you know, why is there something rather than nothing, you know? I mean, it's more of a difference of opinion. Here's the question I pose. Yeah. Even the Josh. This was the same president who he brought it upon himself because he's stupid. He walked around into the Mayo Clinic without a mask. How many people did he spread it to and possibly died, i.e., Herman King? You want to know the truth? Who fucking cares he's sick? I don't wish it on him. He's just fucking dumb. Just, and if you think Trump gives a shit about like, listen, I, I, I look, I, I, I partially, I partially agree with Josh, and I partially agree with Vernon. I agree with Josh in the fact that yes, uh, if somebody were, if a bunch of people like the the, uh, the group of women on at noon on Fox got together and were all savaging Joe Biden, who was in the hospital fighting for his life, we would go insane. On the other hand, here is a man who, at least to us, and most of us here, I think I can't see anybody in the group who isn't a liberal except for maybe Bree, who can float either way in a given situation. Uh, there isn't a person here who, who isn't a liberal who feels that we have been attacked and offended and our lives have been affected by the fact that, of how our politics are by this jerk. And so when we hear that he's sick or that he's dying or we kind of, you know, we have this visceral reaction. Uh, and I, I don't I don't see any reason why we shouldn't have the same this visceral but isn't it the reaction. Same president who says the democratic states versus the, the this he brings this on I mean, I'm surprised that anybody is really shocked that they really don't have any feelings for the guy. How can anybody be surprised by um, the guy mocked Joe Biden at the debate because he was wearing a mask. Yeah. Did I? And who fucking cares about Fox fucking news? I don't. Even... I think, I think the, the the argument that we're having here is, uh, it's we're not going to be able to solve it because, you know, um, we're, uh, Josh is arguing philosophy and morals, and and we're all talking about politics. And when, go on the politics side, Trump has done everything to destroy the American experiment. You know, everything he's done, he's he has just been all about ru- ruining this 200 year, you know, 250 year whatever um, system that we've created. Mm-hmm. And he's going, he's just throwing the whole thing away. And just trash it. And I thank him for it. And I could tell you. Okay, right let, me, let me, let me, let me read. That. Can I read something here a second? I got a, a, a message from, from uh, Patrick. And he wrote, I almost called in tonight, but knew it would be a masturbation fest. Uh, Very disappointing to hear the comments about POTUS. I was happy Josh was honest as usual. In all honesty, I likely would have hung up. I don't know that I agree with him in that I don't think we have all been, uh, like I've been saying from the very beginning, that I don't wish sickness and ill health on anyone, including Donald Trump. And I don't think it's true. 
and you don't think it's true. I don't know if that's the way it's gone necessarily, Patrick. I, I think that, yes, some of us are just absolutely overjoyed by the fact that the man is... is, uh, is, is what is, do you is, say? Is, it's his own stupidity. That's why I think we're chuckling at it. He mocked this. Well, I mean, I think... Well, and those stories are in the news all the time. How many times have you seen the headline? You know, pastor who said COVID yeah. was a fake in the hospital. You know, Texas man who uh, said it was a fake had a party. He's in the hospital. I mean, you see, it's just a frame. But, but Patrick, a frame. I will you say to Patrick, if he, and I'm sure he's listening, is I wish you had called because we would like that that voice mixed into this. You know, uh, you don't stay away because, you say, oh, it'll get me mad. I mean, uh, well, this is not, this is not, point. by the way, I don't feel this has been a festival of people all no. dumping on Trump, you know. We've been discussing how we reacted to it, why we're reacting this way to it. And I think with Josh adding what he added to it, it broadened the discussion to really make us look introspectively at, at how we react to this. Robert, how do you feel about what I just said? Look, I, at no point did I hear anyone say on this panel that they wished him dead. What I said specifically was, I don't really care what happens to him. I yeah, now that coming up. Yeah. I personally, in my heart, can't summon up any caring for what happens to him, the individual. As to the presidency, I think the disgrace to the presidency and the institutions of this country have been destroyed by him to begin with. And so I think the presidency will survive. He'll survive him and it'll survive two or three other motherfuckers like him. Yeah. But as for him, I can't in my heart summon up caring any more, frankly, than Patrick could summon up any caring for, and I think I quote, the useless motherfucker governor of Wisconsin. Yeah. So in effect, he pretty much did the same thing on the other side. And people let him have his voice. And that was that. Well, I appreciate Patrick. Felt- I've always appreciated Patrick's voice on this program because I think as a person to the right, he is a very sane spokesperson for that. Uh, And uh, I wish he had called tonight and added that to this because I felt it would have have added to the discussion. Here's a question. If Joe Biden would have tested positive, this is just my opinion, how much he might He still could. Trump would have ran with this and said, oh, it's fake news. They're just saying this because he don't want to know what I, 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 I don't know what Trump, Trump would, would do. Trump would his negative ass. I'll state that right now. Trump would never... Yes, by the way, that is something ads. you're right, no, Charlie. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Biden has pulled all mm-hmm. his negative ads about Trump. Oh, wow. Trump's winning. But what we should say is... Yeah, like, he is. Yeah. Well, I agree. Uh, agree there. You know, I mean, he's, I mean play, he's on a different level. He's he's just he manipulates the system yeah, so well. But that's uh, but still, you know, that's I don't believe he has COVID. Well, you know what I, I would say, Trump. I, I don't he, know. I, I don't say. He asked for Barack's birth papers. He should say by Biden. Hey, listen. Let me see the doctor reports. Give him to you the want Thomas. to beat the pig? Yeah. You have to get down really? and wrestle in the mud with him. And that's not what. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. I told you what. That's what the debates are about. Yeah. Hey, listen. If anybody wants Tony's background, I, I've had it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> no, oh, look, 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 look at that. We, I just want to see if anyone noticed. <laughs> <We're just trying. laughs> hey, I send, about it, send me a copy of that so I can oh, use it too, Ray. All right, I'll send it. In fact, send it to everybody on the panel who you know. Charlie, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, uh, something's wrong with your camera right now. Keeps getting really bright, Bree. A uh, Bree, uh, Brian. But uh, no, I was trying that background too, but I, I don't have a green screen. Oh, oh I see. Oh, you were having some problems. Oh, you I, were trying I, I to do that. Good. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Kevin. Uh, thank you to Robert tonight. I'm glad to have you back, and uh, sorry to hear about what happened in your family. It was a family member that passed, and uh, right. uh, but we're, it's oh, great to have you, especially tonight. You know. Josh Wheeler, always love having you here. You're the voice of Sanity. Uh, Sanity and Combs, they were a big, uh, big hit on Fox at one time. Uh, Brian Ludwig, thank you so much. Jeff Stein, thank you. Bree, thank you for your comments tonight. Tony? From the center. Good as usual, and thanks for the background. Uh, also, thank you to Vernon Nunn. 
uh, Dr. Howard, better known as John Larkin. Ray Renati, thank you. And Charlene Martinez, you've been very good tonight, Charlene. Thank you oh, so very girl. much. <laughs> and uh, and th also thanks to Patrick for allowing me to use his comments. And I wish he'd called because, quite frankly, his voice would have added to the whole thing. And thanks to all of you. A lot of people watching it tonight, more than we've ever had at one time in years. So whatever anyway everybody give a big wave goodbye i'll give a big wave goodbye back okay there they go that's the citizen panel ladies and gentlemen that's what they amount to and uh, there'll be another one uh, getting together right after we're through here using skype at gabnet live is the skype address uh i'll see you again what tuesday right at what time oh 10 30 same time same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. And unlike our president, be safe and wear a mask. Good night, everybody. Have a nice weekend.